Good morning guys, welcome to the next day of Vlogmas. We are finally back home. So um, yesterday I took the day off just to like settle down, like, you know, get rid of all the stuff in the suitcases, unpack and all of that. But we are back home today. It's actually later in the day for me, okay? It's like two o'clock my time. I have spent the entire day telling myself like today I'm gonna decorate for Christmas. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna decorate. Because if you guys don't remember, like I left my house um, before Thanksgiving, we spent Thanksgiving in Miami. So I came back to like my house still being in fall and I feel like I'm super behind in life because all I ever see on like when I open up Instagram is the Christmas trees and all the Christmas decor. I feel like people were decorating for Christmas like in August and I missed the boat. So today we're gonna try to do it. I put the kids down for their quiet time, their nap time and I took some bins and I at least got rid of all the fall stuff. So this is like all the fall stuff that I had out. I didn't put out too much stuff this year so whatever everything is at least in bins i'll tell joe to take him to the basement later tonight when he gets home but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the basement and i'm gonna try to bring up some of the christmas stuff i'm trying um you guys this is my dilemma okay if you want to hear me like a little rant <laughs> let's just go ahead and do it i'm trying to like first of all first of all as the day has progressed i have continued to ask myself like why am i gonna do this to myself why am i gonna go through all the effort of putting out christmas decor when literally my house my house looks like this like here's a corner of random crap on my couch all the toys that are just like where do i put even decor right my house looks like a mess i got shoes this is that i've cleaned up quite a bit today before filming right but like there's always clutter and things look the random boxes over here that are waiting to be taken to the recycling um yeah this is this is my house this is my life i'm like man it takes so much effort to like put out decor and like it's not my thing decor's not my thing it's not like it brings me uh like joy to do it i always tell you that every year when i decorate but I'm trying to not be a Grinch, right? And I'm trying to remember that, like, I decorate my house for my kids' birthdays, right? We always do a big thing for the kids when it's their birthday. So this is Jesus' birthday. So I definitely have to decorate for him. So I'm trying to, like, frame it that way. I'm trying to make this season more this year about Jesus, about the real reason behind Christmas. So that's kind of what I'm trying to, like, put my eyes towards, like, focus on that. So anyway. I'm trying to, to get into the spirit, you guys. So get into the spirit with me. If you guys still are like one of like the last few people standing that haven't put out their Christmas decor. We don't have our Christmas tree yet. So I put this beautiful YouTube video on with like a Christmas background so I could try to be a little festive. And that's how we're gonna do things around here because we don't have our Christmas tree yet. We get, like, since we've moved to Virginia, like, last year we got a real tree. We went to the Christmas tree farm, chopped our tree down. So we're going to try to do that this weekend um, when Joe's not working. We're hoping to do that. So if we do it, you guys will get to go along with us. So for now, we're going to go down, get some bins, and then we can start going through what we have. Nothing too crazy, right? Because, like, that's just not our shot. So let me go do that, and then I'll kind of show you guys what we're working right, with. so I'm winded. <laughs> but I did it. I brought all these bins up. I actually have more things than I thought I did. Um, so we'll kind of go through everything, start putting things out. I really didn't get much new this year because I was just busy with other things. Um, I got, I'll show you what I got new. This I got new from Target and it's like the beautiful nativity. So I'm going to see where I put that. Um, so if there is anything left that I can still link for you, I will. But I got that and then I got this little church with the birds. Um, they're separate things like you buy at the church and then I bought the pack of the three little birds because I love the little birds and I thought the kids would like them So I have them right now here at their little kids table. Um, I also got like the little uh, Placemat I got two of them, but two of them doesn't really like fit very well here on this table So I might just like hide one of them, but that's really it for new stuff I did get two little ornaments for Riley's tree that I'm gonna put in her room not do I have it do I maybe I already have it I'm not even sure but I got these when we were at Disney they had like a little kiosk um I think the shop was called like sugar boo and co or something like that so I have two little ornaments for her tree I'm not even sure if we did a tree for Jackson last year for his room so maybe if we didn't then at some point I'll put together like a little tree for his room because last year I feel like he was too young to even like, really care and I wasn't gonna put myself through the effort of that so I don't know this video hasn't even started and I'm exhausted so I know that some people like do this video um, like in one day and it all looks beautiful by the end. You're probably not going to see that in this video because I have children um, and I'm tired. But we'll get started and we'll start making this place look a little bit festive. So let's see. I've got garland. I think last year I put some of this garland around the railing. Maybe when Joe gets home he can help me with that. Um, 
I've got, let's take some of this stuff out. Or maybe not, let's just put it back in. I think this is my bin with like the most like decor. Um, I got these little angels last year from Target that I really liked, so I'll be sure to put these out somewhere. And I got like a few things here, like from last year that I really liked. I've had this Nutcracker guy, you guys, for years. I remember putting him in like our old house. Who's been here since the old house? Just let me know if you guys have been here since we were living in Miami. But we decorated our, um, like our guest bath with the Nutcracker one year. And this I think we got last year. It's like the little bike that had like the countdown to Christmas and the numbers are somewhere there. You see we've got a bunch of the little birds so i'm gonna go through this i think i'm gonna start by just like putting some decor on the mantle i feel like that's always a good place to start i'll probably switch things around a million times so don't get attached to anything that you see but let's just go ahead i'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and then i'll get to work that this little setup here is giving at least some of you guys some severe anxiety because uh, it's doing the same to me. I'm overwhelmed like always, which is why I freaking hate decorating, but I'm not trying to be a great. <laughs> Something that will make me happy is I spotted my mugs from last year. So like the seasonal mugs and stuff that I get, I just wrap them up like when they're done, like when the season's over. And then I only bring them out for like the special occasions. <laughs> so like this one, I got from Target last year, the matching Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus. So now I force Joe to drink out of them whenever he's having his coffee. So Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and I'll take those to the kitchen. And then my favorite one is last year I found the little gingerbread man. And it just makes me so happy to drink my coffee out of this thing. I don't know why, like best $5 I've ever spent in my life. Like I love this. And I'm sure by the way, you can hear Jackson um, up in his room, not very happy not wanting to nap you guys uh he napped for like 30 minutes and that was it so i'm gonna give him a chance to go back down if not then they'll have to come downstairs to all of this but i kind of just like pulled out you see like most of the stuff that i wanted to um decorate with like i'm not gonna put out stuff just for the sake of putting it out so like if it's not like you know making me super excited to put it out then i'm just gonna save it for next year or whatever this is the stuff that i want to find a spot for and I can't find like Riley's tree I had that tree in her room with like all her ornaments and I can't find it I don't think it's no it's not this one so I don't even know why this is out so I have to still find that it's got to be in a bin downstairs I have this mat that I got last year that I'll put in the kids rooms I'm um, not in the kids rooms in the bathroom in the kids bathrooms and then this is like my favorite um, little pillow that I got for Riley last year too um, I can't believe it's already been a year. That's freaking insane. So obviously still have some work to do, but I like how that looks. Uh, I need to like get rid of some of the stuff up there because it's too crowded, but like our stockings and I like our pillows out here. So I need to keep working. Riley, what are you doing? Showing Jackson how to color inside the lines. <laughs> You're showing Jackson how to color inside the lines? Uh-huh. Very good. Oh, oh Jackson. Oh! Mm -hmm. How do you color? Did he go outside of the lines? Yes, he did. That's okay. That's okay. No, 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 wait. Oh, you can wear this bumper too. So clearly I'm here in Riley's room. Um, They weren't going to nap any longer. So okay. I figured we could decorate her room a little bit. I did find her tree. You ready to decorate your room? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, I did find her tree, so I'll set up a couple things. This year, her room is a little bit different, the configuration, because we did, like, her big girl bed, like, she got her big girl bed, which I 
still have not like redecorated her room so she's got like mismatched pillows because she got her bed like literally right before we left to miami so at some point i'll get her like new pillows new bedding all of that so it looks nice um but that's not how it is now hopefully they'll play nicely here so that i can do a little bit of stuff i did find this i found this at my mom's house you guys this used to be mine and i'm so happy that i found it that my mom saved it so it's like a little precious moments christmas book i used to love precious moments and it's just like a little walk through again what christmas really means and i love it so much so it reminds us of the gift of love that came to us from up above so i'm gonna have joe read this to riley at night and i can read it to jackson too and i just thought it was like such a special thing um that my mom saved and then i have a bunch of um christmas books downstairs in the basement too so i'll at some point switch out all those books that are there for some christmas ones look what's in there behind the pile of dirty clothes look this is a reindeer oh oh do you like it yeah you want to hold it Look, this is all the stuff that's going in your room, Mama. You got your pillow. You want to put it on your, um, you can put your pillow on your rocker on your chair. Wow. I'll put that. Yeah. Can I put this right now? Sure. Put it on the chair. Where? Oh, where? Uh huh. Okay. But you got to flip it upside down so the trees are standing up. Do you like this guy? What is that? Oh, where? That's a bear. I'm sorry, Jackson, I have to go out. Oh, he didn't like it that much? Okay, very cool. You like that guy? Yeah. Yeah? We're going to put this all up on your on your mueble, okay? They put this something else in here. Yeah, we got some signs. Why do you keep making all of the animals just fall? What is that one? Another little reindeer. We've got her pink bird that I got her at some point. You like the bird? Yeah. Yeah. How does the bird go? Tweet, tweet. Cheep cheep. So yeah, again, I'm gonna be good on the tripod. I'm gonna get started. Otherwise, they're gonna be here playing in the bin forever. Yep. What are you doing with that dino? Do you like him? Yay. You like that dino? I can set up my R in my Christmas tree. I can set up my R. Your R? Uh, See? What is that? That's my R. What is R for? Riley. <laughs> Very good. So I can hang it right there next to the Okay? Okay. Look at this sparkling one. It's so beautiful. Let me hang it on. All the way up here, okay? Okay. And I'll put this one. I want Okay. I want it to be right. Huh, where do I put it? Because there's so many decorations. Yep. How about this? This piece up here. Yeah. Is that a good spot? Mm -hmm. Let's have any decorations. No. Sound good? No. Wow. That looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if I can put the tinsel over there by her uh, her curtains and not kill myself. Look. Last year, her rocking chair was there, and I remember like standing on the rocking chair and like nearly busting my butt. So let's see if this is easier this year. Look. Okay. His little ear. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Let me find where it belongs. Okay. But I got another Christmas tree. That was so silly when you bust your butt. What? That was so silly when you bust your butt. Riley. That's not very nice. Yeah, you almost hit it. your feet at the same time. And then you just hit your fingernail painted and then the rope off. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you see, at least she's got a little bit of some festivities over here, and her room looks cute with the pink Christmas tree. Do you like it, Mama? Mm -hmm. Riley, what is Christmas? What are we celebrating on Christmas? 
a Jesus birthday. Good job. And I'll put it all the way on top this time. Okay? okay, and then I just, I redid the tinsel just so that it just kind of hung like that so it would be longer. Um, so I think that looks cute. And her bed <laughs> looks not very cute with all the stuffed animals. Like, I don't even, I don't understand how she even sleeps. Like, she won't let me get rid of the stuffed animals, but she has them, like, all on top of her. So, whatever. Well, I think your tree is quite lovely. I'm trying to decorate more decoration. Could be just still some more. Let's take some to Jackson's room. Okay. All right. And then I can keep decorating my beautiful, beautifulest. Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, that great Jackson Christmas tree was this good. Come on, let's go to your room, Jackson. So I actually did have a Christmas tree for Jackson. I had totally forgotten. So that makes me happy that, you know, he's not like left out. So I have his little tree here. We'll put some ornaments. Oh, I forgot to take off these pumpkins. Let me take those downstairs. And then I've got this guy and the little bear that I'll put. What the heck happened to his antlers? Really? Maybe I can crazy glue that. I can probably crazy glue it if I can find it. But I wanted to put those like here, so we'll see. Uh, no, I didn't get it. You're gonna get it? Jackson, why are your pants down? No, bear! Hey. Bear. Bear. Maybe, maybe he wanted the ball. Oh, he wanted it. Maybe he wanted the ball. Now put another decoration. It's the boy. Okay, so at least Jackson has a tree. Why are you making a mess? Why? Look at his face, he's so bad. And then I'll fix that little deer later. And then I put his little birds, the little birds that I got from Target, all up here on the shelf. So just a few Christmas touches right here. This is another book that I ordered for them that I thought you know would be good. So a birthday party for Jesus, that's what we're doing here. We're decorating for Jesus' birthday. So I've been reading this to the kids, super cute book, but I have more no. books in the basement. I just have to get them. Riley keeps coming over here, grabbing things and just putting them in random places. So she's gonna decorate the house for me. Let me see what you're doing. I'm decorating. What are you gonna do with those? I can put them, but I want to put some on my blue table. So it can be more Christmassy. So it can be more Christmassy? I'll put one little one. Excellent. And a big one. Too. No, there's not gonna be any space. You're not gonna be able to sit there. I should put these up here. This is gonna fall on someone's head and break their head. So that's gonna be moved. Also, this is gonna be moved. And this random tree over here is gonna be moved. I need to take a break though. Jackson, you're gonna break the snow globe. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'll hold it. Yes. He's gonna either land it on his foot or he's gonna break it. Riley, grab the snow globe, please. I need to like get this done, but at the same time, I need to take a break because I'm exhausted. And Joe texted me that he's on his way home, so he's gonna walk into this and he's not gonna be very happy. Jackson is also mad because he sees the little red truck on the mantle and he wants to play with it. I know, but it's not to play with. It's a decoration. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. It's a decoration. Oh dear lord, we're in this stage now where he discovered really what the word no means. So that's been fun. <laughs> and then over here I have also, I've been putting uh, my Advent uh, devotional here on the little table. So that I remember to read it. This is another one of the devotionals from the Daily Grace Co. I think this one is probably sold out. But I've been making it a point to read it like every day during Advent. And that's another way that I'm you know trying to focus on the meaning of um, Christmas. So I had actually, like, I didn't even know this. Like, again, I've been raised, I was raised Catholic, but you know how, like, when they have the Advent, um, like, the candles, Advent wreaths, you guys see, like, the little Advent wreaths with the, uh, the candles. Usually they're, like, purple and pink. So the first candle, like, one is lit every week leading up to Christmas, I believe. And the first candle is all about hope. So that's what this week was. And it says the first candle of Advent represents the hope that we have in Christ. So so, like I'm learning a lot and it's just been super nice so really like this Riley meanwhile is making a little village over there oh, on I'm her table I know you're trying to make it Christmassy but then like where are you gonna sit and eat your papa 
<laughs> you kill me, child. So we're not done, but I did put that little tree in the corner until we get our real tree. I usually put that tree in the front, um, so I'll move it around later. But for now, at least it's feeling nice and cozy in here. I put the, what's it called, garland on the, or tinsel, whatever you want to call it. I put that on the sail railing, which is nice. The kids always like that. And I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but Ryan said she wanted to make cookies. So I'm gonna make some cookies for her really quick. Where's my light? Is my light gonna turn on? I got these when I did my Aldi order today. So they should be very simple. You guys know I like to keep it very easy. I think they're already, they should be already cut out for you. Look at that. Boom, easy peasy. Now I just put these straight on and I can bake them for, what is it? Nine to 12 minutes, this is the way <laughs> to do sugar cookies that then they can decorate and I don't have to like worry about the mess of the dough. of these cookies is bringing back so many good memories. Oh my God, they smell delicious. That was so Yay! easy. Are you ready to decorate them, mama? Yeah, right yeah? So we'll let them cool down for like two minutes and there you go. She'll have a cookie that she can decorate, put some icing on and all of that. Um, and then I've got to start cooking dinner. So honestly, um, the house still looks like a mess. Like there are random things everywhere. Like Riley just put this stuff here um, and there's random stuff everywhere but it kind of I don't know it kind of like warms my heart a bit because it's like the first year that she was able to decorate with me and she wanted to like decorate and put things in different places so you know it's kind of like the thing about Christmas and just decorating and all of that like you sometimes get it in your head like oh it has to look perfect it has to look like it does on pinterest and like all the people that you see it looks like it's out of a pottery barn catalog and like it's nice i mean don't get me wrong i like pretty things but especially when you have kids like that's not even what it's about it's about you know them having a good time and if it looks like your toddler decorated it then that's okay because you had the memories of decorating with your toddler so um i think it was a good day riley did you have fun you had fun decorating all the things mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to move some of the decorations so we can eat our dinner everything else looks just fine i still have to throw away that trash so just like pretend you don't see that i put our little santa mailbox down there and then we've got our little bar of, you know, like the different holiday cups. And I want Joe to um, like put a little nail so that I can finally move this painting, not painting, it's like a little print up so that it's not like on the table. This is just like one of my favorite Bible verses. So I just want to put it like front and center here. And then I want to find like a nice big painting to put here. So something festive, I don't know. I still haven't decided what I'm going to put there, but I have an empty spot. And then over here, it just looks like I said, cozy and then I still have to worry about like the rest of the house see this is what the rest of the house looks like over here we're gonna inflate we have um an Olaf that we're gonna put in the backyard that the kids will love to see and then we've got to put down the boxes like take those down to the basement again and then what I did is usually I put the wreath out um oh there dad is coming home <laughs> Hi, Dada. Sorry, I was vlogging and I got you coming home. Dada, we got the Olaf thing. She wants to yeah. inflate the Olaf. Okay. But I put the wreath nice. on this side because, like, we get to see it more this way. Oh, so Aww. Little squish. His, his pants are falling off. Oh, right. little squish. Dada, what do you think? Looks like Christmas in here. So, yeah, now that Joe is home, we're going to relax. I'm going to cook dinner, all of that. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Remember, I've gotta kind of keep these semi-short because if I'm vlogging every day, I've gotta edit every day. So I can't have every vlog be super long. Um, so I'm gonna end it here. Tomorrow I'll be vlogging again. I know that I didn't really catch up too much with you guys since like being gone today, but I'll do that in the next vlog and we can kind of chit chat about what's been going on and all of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting into the holiday spirit with me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for being here. I love your freaking faces. Happy vlog. Vlogmas, happy all the things. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.